Yeah, Lauren, once that bomb threat happened here at Heritage High School, students were evacuated onto the football field. Listen, on a normal day, it would have been just fine, but on a hot day like today, it caused a lot of problems. There was this girl, she was, I felt so bad. She looked pale and I don't know what happened because I wasn't near, but she got pulled away on the stretcher. It's not how sophomore Alexia Young expected to start her Thursday morning at Heritage High School. It was all like chaos. Everybody was looking around. We we're like, oh, it's a drill. It's all fine. And then it wasn't. Reports of a bomb threat led to an early dismissal for students who waited in the sun for hours. It was very hot. It was it felt like 100 degrees outside. Electrician Tyler Johnson was on the property working on the school's generator. Cops hop out with plates on and ARs and stuff and start walking around. Meantime, carpool lines formed outside and parents anxiously waited at the plaza across the street. They hold the kids outside of the football stadium, which is too hot. They've been out there for two hours. Worried about the possibility of heat exhaustion. <laughs> this mom went into a nearby store and tried to walk water over to her kids, but couldn't get past police. I mean, I just, the kids are texting saying that they're so hot and they can't get out of there. Wake County EMS told Eyewitness News two students were transported with heat related symptoms. Up to 30 people were treated on the scene. And we've also learned air conditioned go Raleigh buses were brought in to triage patients. Meantime, the school district kept parents updated on its website. The parents say they only knew of a bomb threat because of their kids. Receiving this urgent text from the school saying there's an early dismissal due to safety concerns of high temperatures. I would like to know as soon as he's evacuated from the school, you know, and the reason why as soon as it's, he's evacuating. <laughs> the all clear was finally given and students were released. A much needed reunion between parents and their precious cargo. Go get my baby and I'm here. All right, and those students who experienced heat exhaustion, I'm told they're just fine. Uh, as for classes tomorrow, I'm told they will resume here at Heritage High School as normal tomorrow. We're live in Wake Forest, Tequila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.